Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel if it's your first time here. My name's Gary aka The Plastic Boy. I'm in such a good mood today. Today we're going to be doing like a get ready with me style. I haven't done one of these videos for ages so I thought you know I've got a few new bits, a few bit of makeup. So let's get into it. So if you want to see how I got some kind of random cute look, keep on watching. <laughs> Hey guys, so I thought we'd start with some, I'm not even sure what look I'm doing. All I know, I'm going to use this Natasha Denona. Um, it's called the Love Palette. I actually received it during Valentine's Day, but it was stuck in customs. This is what it looks like here. Super, super gorgeous. Um, if I don't say what products I'm using, everything's going to be listed in the description bar below. I just wanted to talk to you guys, you know, because I felt like I haven't spoken to you guys for the longest. I've already primed my eyelids using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm gonna go in with the shade called Soul, which is this one. And then I'm probably gonna use Heartbeat, which is this one. I'm just gonna use those two colors just to make it a bit more simple. Oh, this is like pigmented. How have you guys been anyway? What's been going on? Um, I haven't done a get ready with me since last year. Sometimes I find them quite hard to film because when I'm filming these kind of videos, I'm actually filming like an Instagram video at the same time, but I've actually stopped doing that because sometimes I just find it a bit too pressure with stopping and starting. So I kind of just like split them up now. As you guys know, I've actually got a special announcement to make tomorrow. So definitely make sure you are like, stay, like not stay tuned, but obviously have your notifications on. But make sure you follow me on the gram just because I'm going to be announcing on there first. Because a lot of people don't realize that I'm actually bigger on Instagram than on here. Like... Instagram is my main platform then obviously I've been doing YouTube for much longer, but not as consistent This eyeshadow blended out so nicely Natasha did on the shadows She does not play. I know they're quite expensive, but if you are like into like good quality shadows then um, Her eyeshadows are definitely worth it, but I do feel like anything over 40 pounds is slightly a bit wild Guys, I've been really, well, <laughs> it only happened yesterday. Basically, you know how everyone's into Real Housewives of Atlanta? Like, I used to be proper into it. Like, when I say into it, I used to watch it every Sunday when it come out on Hey You, well, Monday. But recently, I didn't really get into the season and all my friends were like, oh, this color's pretty. You need to watch it, you need to get into it. So basically, yesterday, I started on episode two because I did watch episode one. Oh my God, I'm sweating. It's a really hot day today, by the way. And um, I literally got to um, episode 13. This season is so messy. You know what? If you watch it, I love Kenya. I just feel like I can really relate to her in certain things. Like, you know, and I just feel like she's so beautiful. She has such, like, a nice aura about her. But this season, she has just become so messy. And, like... I hate to say it, like, she's a proper mean girl. I just don't get why she moves so mad, but I'm really, really liking this season. Like, it's so juicy. After I finish filming this one, and I have to film another video, I'm going to actually just try and finish, like, all the episodes up until the recent episode because I'm addicted. I'm fully addicted to it. Like, it's honestly mad. If you guys have any more, like, things I should watch. I've also started getting into Married to Medicine. That is so, so good. How easy was this look, please? I just literally used two shadows and like, look at the intensity. I was actually blending for a while, but I love this shade on me. It's kind of like a pinky red. I love these kind of shades because it just looks super, super sexy. What's popping anyway? What's new, everyone? I feel like my life, it hasn't been dry. Ugh, I really wish I could tell you what I'm gonna tell you tomorrow, but I can't because my ass will get sued. Well, I wouldn't get sued, but it would just ruin the surprise for everyone. But um, it is something juicy, so make sure to follow me on the gram, which is at the Plastic Boy, just so you know. And also, guys, I've been getting so much better at liquid liner. Like, this is the Beauty Bakery one. Um, I'll list it down below, it's called the Lollipop Liner. And I've just been trying to get good. I'm gonna try and do it on camera, but if not, I'll have to do it off camera because a bitch cannot breathe when she does liner. So when I do eyebrows and liner, I actually hold my breath for at least 10 to 12 seconds. I'm like, <gasps> like that period so i'm gonna try and do it on here the best thing to do is kind of like look forward i'm just gonna go like that oh, you probably didn't see it then i do a line like that then you can you can clean it up with concealer but 
This pen is so easy and guys, you guys know I don't do liner on camera because I am not that liner girl. I either use tape or I just use something else because I'm just not, I'm trying to get better at liner just because my hands shake. And you know I'm sweating because I've had two coffees today and that coffee is sending me over the damn edge. I told my ass to drink decaf. Like, okay, so I've just done my liner. I tried to get it as best as I could. You know when you're trying to add a bit more then you're like, I fucked up, but it's fine. We're gonna add some lashes and then we're gonna move on to the bed. Okay, so the lashes are on. I really like these lashes. I'm actually gonna tight line after. I'm gonna start with some base. Um, these lashes are really dramatic though. So I'm, not, I'm trying to think. Okay, I think I'm gonna use the new, this is not new, it's new to me. It's the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation in Bobbi Brown Oil Controlling. Let me guys know if you've used this because I have never, why well, can't I get this lid off? I've never used this so. I'm very intrigued. I've heard such good things about it. I've seen people do a lot of ads for it. So, ooh, she looks a bit red though. So I actually haven't got anywhere to go. Ooh, this color's actually quite nice. I've got nowhere to go, but I thought I'll just do a get ready anyway. Um, I'm trying to think what else has been going on. Obviously, we have this whole coronavirus thing, which is so scary. I really wanted to go away to so many places this month, but like, I think it's better to be safer what is it? I think it's better to be safer than sorry, but um, it's actually not like a funny situation. Like, I feel like people are really scared because the media are saying a lot of things that might happen, but at the same time, I'm really scared for obviously like my grandparents and people that have weak immune systems because I think if a normal person gets it, they can like obviously um, put you in self containment. Is it called self containment or? How's it, what's that thing called where they confine you in? Oh, I'm not school, but you know what I mean. But um, I feel like they can probably like, you know, try and help you the best way they can. But I feel like if you have like a weak immune system, it's kind of like, well, your organs start shutting down. I don't know too much about it, but all I know is that it's kind of really, really scary. But I honestly feel like the world is ending. I just feel like after so many illnesses, remember when there was SARS and foot and mouth and um, Ebola, I feel like there's always like one thing after the next and I know there's always like conspiracy theories behind these illnesses and like where do they come from, where they made, it's just really really scary but oh, I don't know guys, I really don't know. This foundation actually looks super good. Like the color's nice, a tiny bit red. It's in the shade um, neutral walnut. So it is neutral, but maybe it's just the lights, but it looks a tiny bit red on me. But it is a nice shade. It's not too red, but I really like Bobbi Brown's um, complexion. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath concealer in MD22. You guys sure like this video. A lot of you guys messaged me saying, you might not to get the color I referenced because me and you are the same color. And when I get those kind of comments, it means so much because as like a deeper skin tone person, we just can't buy certain shades online because it will look mad. I feel like, I don't know, it's just really, really hard for us when it comes to concealers and like undertones because we don't want the concealer to be too red. We don't want it to be orange. Do you remember in Mac, well I used to work at Mac and I remember when everyone used to be at NW45. How is 18 people at NW45? I feel like, that was just the shade everyone was told to say. I'm not gonna lie, when you were at Mac and when certain people, well, well if you saw like a certain black person, you'd be like, she's at NW45, she's at NC50. You would just have that kind of thing in your head because you would just know certain undertones, but I feel like when some people just thought they were NW45, they would bite themselves and they were like, oh wow, you said I'm at NW45, but I think it was just embedded in the blackness of make the makeup world that we're at NW45, but realistically, people were NW46, some people were NW43, but and now MAC have so many different shades that people just aren't that shade anymore. Why am I using so much concealer? Where am I going? Have I got anywhere to go? No, I'm actually filming it for you guys because I want to be a bit beat, but I'm putting on so much concealer like I'm ready to hit the town. I need to calm down. I'm gonna fan this down, even though this is like a super cute, whoops, <laughs> matte finish. I'm gonna like dry this down because this is like one of my favorite new concealers. This and the Banish and the Beauty Blender, there's just been so, oops, let me turn it down. <laughs> There's been so many concealer releases, like what in the complexion is going on in 2020? Because I don't know, I, I just do not know. Blending this out, super on fleek. Let me get a mirror. Guys, if you guys know any YouTubers, like especially black ones, any boys, any amazing ones that I should watch, 
let me know. I love finding new people to watch on YouTube. I've actually been watching this girl. Um, oh my God, did I hit my lash? Her name, well, she's not a girl, she's a woman. Her name's Michelle Wang. A lot of you guys probably know of her. I've always, I've been watching Robert Walsh as well. Love him. Um, Michelle Wang is a bit more of a mature, mature lady, but I just love her kind of like hauls. She's more luxury makeup and that's what I love about her. Like she doesn't really do drugstore. She reviews like obviously the Pat McGraths, the um, kind of, um, La Mer's. She's quite like a high fashion kind of bitch. This girl, this woman is buying Chanel bag after Chanel bag, but I love her because She's like a certain age, but she's so beautiful. Her skin's amazing. And she just gives it to you like, her reviews are just so good. I'm not, I think she said in one video, she doesn't do paid partnerships, which I totally respect her for because obviously when she reviews something, she obviously puts her heart into it. Not saying that I don't, you know what I mean? Obviously I do partnerships on Instagram. I've done a few on here, but for her to not do any, I really respect people like that just because you know what I mean? Like, it's not like the review will be any different, but when her, when she gives reviews, if she really doesn't like a, a product and she loves the brand, she will let you guys know the full tea. But I love her. But if you guys know any other people, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I've really been into YouTube these days. And the only things I really watch on YouTube are like, you know, Wendy Williams, Hot Topics, Michelle Wang, I watch my friends, Jackie Aina. Um, who else do I love? I love Monica Star News. And I love um, the Vogue um, Get Ready With Me's. I just love those. They're so good. I actually watched the one with Sweetie. And she actually used um, LA Pro Girl. And she's the first person I've seen in there use LA Pro Girl. And you guys know I love Sweetie. Six figures, eight figures. That's my type. That's my type, nigga. That's my Okay, so guys, I quickly contoured with the uh, Morphe Concealer, which I used in my last video. Did I use it? Yeah, I did. And now I'm just using the Too Faced um, Born This Way powder just to set under my eyes. You guys really, really loved... Oh my God, what is that? Really loved the um, Morphe Bronzer video. I just feel like videos like that are always super helpful just because, as I know, bronzers out there are really a rarity for deeper skin tone people. I'm going to use the Colourpop powder, which is in Caramel, the no filter one. Love this powder so much and plus I think stuff it was on my brush because that eye looks weirdly darker. So let's brighten this bitch up. I actually love this powder. Guys, if you wouldn't mind commenting down below, what is your most ultimate like non-stop dry by foundation that you ride or die? Obviously mine would have to be I actually love Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I've let you guys know before. I just love that foundation. If I had to choose one foundation ever, it would be that or... I do love the NARS Longwear Radiance, but recently I've been using the Sheer Glow. Why did no one not put me onto Sheer Glow? Sheer Glow is a total banger. That's bad. This powder by Colourpop, guys, is fucking amazing, honestly. Like, this powder will have you fighting bitches because it's so good obviously for bronzer i'm using supreme these kept confusing me because the names they're not similar but i was just like supreme prodigy leader but this bronzer is so beautiful if you guys haven't got your like hands on this yet definitely go and get it because i actually think this is like one of my favorite bronzers ever sorry fenty sorry prime you guys know the prime beauty but these ones are just Oh, look at the glow it gives me. It actually matches my eyeshadow in a weird kind of way. Oh, I've gone a bit too far up my jaw, but what's going to do here? The nose. I'm just going to take some powder and cut these cheeks. Cut it. Mm, cut it using that same colour pop powder. You know what I might do? I might do an all matte look because so much people are doing that look at the moment. And I kind of love it. Sometimes highlight can be either too much very unforgiving for the pores or just there's just no need and a lot of times i haven't wore highlighter some people have just been like oh my god gary you look so fresh what have you not done i'm like i haven't got highlighter on because when you put highlighter on i think it takes the makeup level the makeup look to a whole different level even though i love highlight and i would never stop wearing it but i think sometimes when you just have like a nice foundation a nice eyeshadow and just a nice blush a nice lip it just looks very very beautiful so we're gonna call this a pink matte or bad bitch look okay so i've done my bottom lash line in this eye i'm gonna use the same color as used on top which was 
heartbeat, soul, and a bit of this color called commitment. This palette's actually so pretty. I'm actually really, really um, kind of upset I didn't get it for Valentine's Day. I'm using a Morphe JH38. I wonder if I could actually put this on the bottom and like stamp it in. So I'm gonna use Soul. I actually love the names of this and then put this under the lash line. Guys, I can't believe it's almost like April. Like where the hell did this year go? Like, I just feel like this year is blowing by. Already we have this devastating, deadly virus that's stopping us from traveling or doing anything. I just pray that this goes ASAP because if this is with us until like the end of the year, especially with Brexit happening here in London, Honestly, it's gonna be the most depressing place ever, especially if they do like um, a travel ban like they've done in Italy. It's just so, so sad. But like, I just, even Wendy Williams is doing shows with no audiences, that's when you know the world is ending, period. Okay, so I added, what did I do? So I finished my bottom waterline and I added my, where is it? Okay, so this is one of my favorite nude eyeliners for a deeper skin tone. This is by NARS and it's called Rune Bud Pot. It looks like this, it's so good. I actually bought this for myself because I actually couldn't find the other one. I'm not sure, I should've just emailed them, but sometimes when you want something that badly, you just buy it because it's easier. But I just love it because it kind of just opens up the eyes and you know, it takes a look to another level. Even though sometimes there's no need for what I don't know, I'm gonna take it there. So, I received this the other day by Jouer and it says their blush bouquets and this is in the shade Cherish Me and Cherish Me. Guys, can we take a moment for it? Can we just take a moment for how beautiful this blusher is? So gorgeous. Obviously, I'm going to keep this a matte look, so I'm not going to use this gold side, even though it's stunning. I'm going to use it for another time, so I'm going to put this blush on. This is... Oh, guys. This Jouer have just been kidding it. You remember that bronzer I told you about? There was some sweat one. Have I almost finished it already? Actually, kind of cracked, but... I low-key want them to send me another one, but I might just buy it because I'm not sure if it's stocked here, but this blusher is just so gorgeous. I cannot cope. Because we want this look matte, I'm gonna use the All Nighter by Urban Decay and Ultra Matte. If you guys haven't used this, you need it for your hot girl summer or hot boy summer moment because none of us wanna be shiny. We all wanna be matte, so let's just use a bit of this. I'm gonna shake it. I'm not sure what's wrong with mine, but it kind of leaves little droplets, which is so annoying, but we move anyway. I'm gonna spray loads. I just feel like when you add setting spray, it kind of just, I don't know what it does, but it kind of like completes the makeup. It just makes everything melt and just look seamlessly and perfected. So, okay, cause this is the all matte look, I'm gonna have to use this lift that so many of you commented about. So in my luxury handbag video, I link it in the corner somewhere here. So much people were like, sis, give us the lip combo, drop that lip, like, guys, it was only like two colors. It's an like, expensive combo. I'm not sure if there's a dupe for this color, but I'm gonna drop it anyway. So this is the ColourPop Pencil BF4. Obviously super affordable. I'm gonna line the lips. And then the lipstick I used was this Gucci one. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in a video before, but this lipstick is amazing. I'm so upset because look what's happened to it. This is a 35 pound lipstick and that's what's happened, but I think it was my fault because you know sometimes when you push the bullet all the way up and you're trying to be extra, it literally broke, I think it's really sensitive to heat, but this color is just so bomb. Let me just put some on the bottom for you, like that. Oh, it's the perfect nude for deeper skin tone. It's in the shade Mona Leslie Cameo. I tried to order it again online, but it's sold out everywhere and I'm so annoyed because it's the only perfect nude I've found ever. It's so good. I'm actually sweating because it's so hot in here. I need to turn the heat off. Okay, so I have my lip on. This is the lip by itself, but I actually watched my friend at Shay's video and she actually used Laura Mercier to make a lip extra matte. That's what I'm gonna do. Laura Mercier's making me laugh at the moment because I'm gonna insert a video I actually did for TikTok on my Instagram and it kind of just blew up because, I don't know, it was a bit mad, it was funny. But anyway, I insert it and I'm gonna put this on my lip. Oh yes, 
come through madness. Hey guys, this is the finished look. I threw in a blazer with the finger underneath. Very, very sexy. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you love the all madness? I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of weird that I have no highlighter on, which is so crazy to me. Um, but obviously this is like a whole matte look. Eyeshadow, lips, it just feels so weird. I've got no highlight on, but I think my cheekbones have a natural sheen anyway, but I really, really like the look. I hope you guys have enjoyed getting ready with me. And I'm just so excited for tomorrow for you guys to finally know what I've been keeping from you for a year. It's been special to me and it's been hard to not reveal it in this video. Ah! But um, definitely tune in tomorrow because the video will be up. I will be up at 9 a.m or 6 p.m. GMT time, but definitely follow me on Instagram to obviously keep updated. But um, yeah, let me guys know if you like this look and let me guys know if you do create it. And I shall see you in my next video, guys. Love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>